Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video was going to be a budget update, but I'm also going to stuff my cash envelopes. Haven't done that yet. So I'm going to update you guys on what's happening thus far for the month of October. So hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, my name's Shakima. I'm a single mom. I have four children, two girls, two boys, one fur dog named Gracie. We also have a fur grand dog. His name is Agro. We're living our very best Dave Ramsey life over here in our house. So the kids and I are actively working baby steps three, four, and five at the same time. Most people work four, five, and six at the same time. But through a series of circumstances and blessings from God, We are working on baby step number three, which is saving three to six months worth of expenses. Baby step number four, investing 15% of our income. And baby step number five, saving for college or the children. Um, I'm not saving a lot for them and I'm not even allocating it for college if that is not what they so choose to do. To date, uh, my two older children who no longer live at home have not uh, gone straight to college. Both of them went straight to the military and then college after. Um, Jackson does plan to follow that line of thinking. Um, as soon as he graduates from homeschool, he is trying to graduate a year early from homeschool. Uh, we are not sure how all that will work out, but it's all going to work out. And sister at this point will probably take a gap year before she even decides what she wants to do. We think she's going to pretty much start somewhere at the community college and um, do something in the early childhood field. So that's what we're thinking with her. We are not sure for 100%, but that is the line of thinking at the moment. So that's what we're doing. But this video was about this budget update and getting you all caught up with our uh, cash envelopes. So let me jump over to, I'm going to do it on my spreadsheet. Normally I would just kind of write things out and let you follow how I am uh, subtracting those expenses, but I'll just do it on my budget sheet and that way you can see it in live real time. Alrighty, you guys. So here is my budget sheet. This is the budget as of October. Today is October the 4th and I'm going to be allocating for some child support that came in. Um, that is going to be, um, we got a deposit for two twenty four forty six, dollars and that came on, I'm going to insert my note here so that I know, 10, 3. So that came on yesterday on Saturday, and I was thankful to get it because I have spent down all of the money that we had in our paycheck. So let's go down and review. Now, in order to meet all of the goals I have set for myself for this month, I need $3,944.75 to come in. Um, thus far, I have had $3,165.24. Come in, and that is with the current child support that came in. Also, I'm going to make a slight change on my budget sheet. Someone asked um, in a comment the other day, Oh, you can say how much you make on YouTube. I don't think that they ban you from telling people, I think people just don't tell you. So, um, just in case, so that I am not getting, you know, not following any rules. I'm just going to change the naming of this and I'm going to call it so I'll know that that means um, YouTube Google AdSense. I just abbreviated it and now it is what it is. So then when I refer to that, it'll be Side hustle number one, because that's the main thing I do to make extra income for my family. I do have additional things that I do now and again um, that help us make money as well. So I'm just changing that. I think most people just don't tell you what they make. Um, I don't make a lot. So I'm thankful for every penny though. 
you know, it is what it is. And I'm thankful for every single penny that comes in. Um, all righty. So I'm going to take us back now to our uh, weekly sheet. And we're going to be looking at the third since these funds came in on the third. And we're going to budget or allocate for them. All right. So I'm going to start with, always start with my tithe. And I did um, 25. Now, from there, I'm able to know what is left over, what else I need to allocate monies for, and I'm able to work that out. All right, now, so I'm going to scroll back up and go here to hair care. So I had originally spent $20 out of my hair care money for some groceries. Well, I guess I could put it at groceries. It won't matter because I actually just put it back in that envelope, but I spent it on groceries. So for this week, I budgeted in $40 for groceries because I needed to pick up a few more things from the grocery store that I had not previously picked up and put that $20 back that I had went over on groceries um, in my grocery haul. So that's what I did there. Then I have the kids' savings, which I always try to do, which is why I'm doing baby step number five. And again, it's not a lot, but it's what I'm able to do. So $50, 25 each in their um, savings funds, which is more than I have ever saved for them over the last, what, they've probably been... It's been 11 years since I've been separated and divorced. I've not been able to save. I've just spent every little dime trying to pay off debt and get them caught up and squared away, you know, get us caught up and squared away. And now I'm able to put something towards that and I'm thankful for it. So $50 for that. Um, the next thing, right? I'm going to go up here to where it says doctors, dentists, etc. I went to the eye doctor. I had an eye exam this week for my annual eye exam. Normally, I go in, I have my eyes dilated. They look and check all the things. I pay $10 as a copay. I get the glasses or the frames that are allotted in my um, for my insurance. I get the plastic lenses. I leave the office having paid $10. Well, not this week. So... At the eye doctor that I go to now, since everything has happened, they no longer dilate eyes. You have to get the um, the photo, the high-powered photo, which is $39. So I'm now into them for $50. And then to get insurance on my glasses was another $25 because I have had them have I have had a problem with my glasses last year and I needed to get them fixed. So I left the doctor's office $84 less and I had only planned to pay 10. I had my benefits card that I used to cover that. But the kids have eye appointments this week and they have to have the same picture that I had done. Fortunately for us, they are discounting that to $20 for the kids instead of $40 each. So that's going to be twenty forty for Jackson and Alana, plus the ten dollar copay. So sixty dollars has to go towards eye exams. So that's sixty dollars. So right now that's one fifty, plus the tithe is one seventy five. So I've got fifty more dollars that I do have to allocate for for this child support. All right, then I also have to pay for homeschool. So I did allocate money for homeschool. So let me see. Homeschool sinking fund would have been $24.50. So I just made it $25. That was just for week one. Oh, I did have to put in hair care because not for additional mon uh, monies to get their hair done but because I needed to buy some hair products for Alana. 
um, Alana has a head full of hair. And when you wash it and the curls relax, it is probably just above her rear. Um, it's all the way down her back. It is crazy long. Um, I always keep it up in protective style so you don't really see the length of it. But I needed to find some better detangling um, products for her. It is an indeed process to try to get her hair done. And so um, I have been watching this channel, Christy Gior, and she's been showing some products. She is um, a, she's not an African-American woman, but she has African-American children. And I've been very impressed with the way she takes care of their hair. I mean, she put me to shame. I'm like, okay, friend, let me get my life together. So she was showing some products. She actually uses Carol's Daughter products. I did not buy those. I use African's Pride. Um, those are just products that I use on my hair that I like. But I did go to Walgreens and they had a buy two, get the third one free. And I was able to get her a, a different leave-in conditioner, something called pre-shampoo. And then I got her... I got one, oh, some oil, like fin a finishing oil. So I did have to go and spend money on hair products. So this was not on getting their hair done. This was on products. So I'm just going to say. That's what that was. All right, let me make sure that I am... Um, putting everything down that we did. Yes, I am. And that should have taken us through all of that money. Now, my goal this week was to save $60. I had planned that. But with the eye exam, that's where the $60 for savings went. So this week, we had no savings going towards baby step number three. And it is, it is a challenge when you're wanting to save so, so much and you're unable to at the time. And um, so for me, my hackles are up now because I'm like, man, I got to have some savings. So if I take us back to our base sheet and I scroll down, I have left $218.55. However, I have not done the um, $30 PayPal. I need to do that today to my dad's ministry. I haven't done the sinking fund for the oil change yet. Of course, I'll do those when I get money to sink funds. Um, I haven't paid for the um, termite inspection yet, nor have I paid my cell phone bill. So those couple things will still need to be paid, but everything else is paid for and allocated for. So the month so far is starting off very well. We have all of the things that we need. I just really need to feel secure about the savings. Um, being totally unsure of what is coming in the next couple of months. Um, I already hear rumblings or feel rumblings that there's just going to be some changes, some differences. And um, that, is, that is okay. We have to go through all things. Um, and I know that the Lord is going to take care of us. He always has. I want to feel secure in my um, financial journey. So there are just some things that I really need to um, figure out. We, I never, never, never have to worry about paying those prices because I get what's allowed on my insurance, what's covered on the insurance. I used to get, I would go in there before I realized that I didn't have to get what they were suggesting and it would be three and four hundred dollars for glasses. And I'm like, wait a minute, something is wrong here because I don't have that money. And then it was like, well, you don't have to get over your frame allowance and you don't have to get this type of lens. You can get this type. So I've made adjustments over the years, but to go in just within a week and have to pay one hundred and forty, fifty dollars for all three of us is just a little bit um, disconcerting to me. That's not something I would have done before. And the reason I didn't put the kids um, co-pays on my benefits card is because I'm using that for my chiropractor. I am so much better than I have been this whole time. From July to October, 
I mean, she has worked miracles on my body and I have just been able to get up and move and walk around, whereas I was not able to do anything for quite a few weeks. So I'm thankful that she has worked with me and got my body right, but I only have a set amount on that card and I've been allocating that for the chiropractor. So I don't have to come up with those funds. Um, but anyway, we just, it, it all works out in the end and in the wash. And now I'm going to stuff my cash envelopes. I do have cash, went to the bank. Um, I try not to go into the bank if I'm able, but I do have my cash here. Um, I bank at the credit union and I've gotten all my cash out. I try to get um, larger bills so that I am able to just not have a lot of just random bills or cash around. But I'm going to share with you how I'm sinking these funds and it all worked out this month that I could get the larger bills. So I'm going to pop you down to a view of my desk and share with you where I am sinking these um, where I'm stuffing these in my envelope. All right, you guys. So this is my recollections planner. Um, one of my subscribers, one of you guys sent this to me. Oh goodness. Years ago. And I have used it ever since. And then I had, um, another one of my subscribers send me these envelopes and I have used these faithfully. And then another one of my subscribers um, sent me these not very long ago, and these came from Coupon and Crystal. Um, she is a fellow North Carolinian, and she does um, envelopes. And so I got four new ones, which helped me out because I have so many things that I'm trying to fill. So I have um, groceries, weeks one, two, three, and four. I have lawn care because I'm still getting the lawn done. I think we're coming to the end of that. Hair care money. This is summer groceries, so I have money in here for summer groceries. I haven't gotten my gift cards yet. Then I have um, Gracie's meds, but I've already transferred that money over into this um, savings account. And then gas money, and then all of these I've been using for gas money as well. Aren't they cute? But first, coffee, work hard, slay hard. I love the, that one. Hello. And then you got this girl. You got this. So I use all of these for additional gas money as well. So I got out of my bank $670. I'm going to set those to the side for a sec. $670. Um, I got $100 for lawn care. I just went ahead and got them in increments of 50 because um, he will come and do um, two cuts, $50 each. So that is going to be for um, lawn. For groceries, I got 300. So I got 650s. Well, let me do hair care, which is 70. So 50. Seventy for hair care. Gas was two hundred. A line. Will you bring me my wallet? Hundred. That's 200 for gas. So I've got lawn care, hair care, and gas. And then what's left is groceries. All right, so um, I have my lawn care, hair care, gas money, and then I still have some additional money. So let me sink that. Let me, I mean, put that in my envelopes because I still have to take out my summer grocery money. So for gas, I'm doing 40 a week. So 40 in this one. And I do have to get gas today. It's a Sunday. 40 in this one. Um, 40 here.
40 in this one. And then the last one is 40 in this one. So that's five weeks, $40 each. And that's really because I'm driving for the chiropractor. Um, this one is summer groceries. I already have $50 in here. So I'm gonna add in an additional $50. So I've got $50 and I'm adding in 50. So that's two months that I've saved $50 for groceries for the summer months. So some people have asked me about summer month grocery. Why do I save for the summer? Because I am a 10 month uh, paid employee. I do not get paid in the summer. This is for hair care. And so um, the kids and I have struggled past summers of having enough for groceries. I am able to save a little bit out of each paycheck so I can cover my mortgage. Um, I don't tithe in the summer because I've already tithed off of my full and complete salary throughout the 10 months. This is for lawn care. And so I am able to save a little bit every month from my regular groceries. And that's how the kids and I fund our groceries for the summer. And now the rest of these are grocery envelopes. So I've already done grocery week one, I've already shopped. For grocery week two, I'm gonna put in $50. For groceries week three, I'm going to put in $50. And then for groceries week four, I have $26. I actually had to spend $3 and 20 some cents to get a package from the post office um, that didn't have enough postage on it. So that took a little bit away from here. Um, I did my stocking up for the month. I've already done that one. So that was $50. It ended up being probably a little bit more than 50. Just a hair over. It wasn't much. And so I just took it out of here. So there's 26 in this envelope. And once I get a little more child support, I will fill in this envelope. So those are all of my groceries for the next couple of weeks. And we already shopped for week one. I still have um, $7 left that I'm going to go and get a few more um, preps with and Alana some yogurt because we have yogurt on sale. So I'm going to get yogurt. It's 17 cents a um, for the yogurt and she asked for, it's the kind she likes, the Carb Master. I do not appreciate that kind, but she loves it. So I'm going to buy that for her. So that is out. Those are our envelopes for the month so far. Got a little bit of change. I'll just throw that in one of these grocery envelopes, just 11 cents, but it works out just fine. And so there it is. All of the envelopes are stuffed for the month and that's gonna work out just lovely. Hey, you guys, I'm just gonna pop this in real fast. I actually made a mistake on my budget update where I put in the extra $20 into the hair fund that was incorrect because I already got my hair cut. So that was my $20 that I had, um, I had used $20 to, um, of my hair money for the groceries to cover the groceries. So that extra $20 actually goes in week four groceries, making that $46 instead of $26. And now the hair envelope is at $50. So that is right because it's just Alana and Jackson that need to get their hair done. Jackson's getting a haircut on Thursday and sister is getting her hair done on Thursday. So I wanted to make that correction because I was looking and I'm like, why is this not right? I had just gone doing some other things and I kept thinking, this is just not right because I already got my hair cut. So there it is. So I switched out that $20 and just put it back in week four groceries because I knew I had my grocery money. I've already done my preps. And um, I had my $50 for summer groceries. So I'm only $4 short in that fourth week envelope. And that's because I spent the $3.20 some odd cent 
at the post office to get that um, envelope and I'm at church. So I thought I'd throw that in. So you hear background noise. It's the people at church that are inside the sanctuary. I just stepped out for a second. But anyway, I wanted to throw that in because I know a lot of people do follow my budget. Some follow it closer than I do. And I wanted to make that correction. So that $20 that I put in the hair money actually was for one of my grocery envelopes. So now we're straight. And like I said, I'm about $4 off because that envelope was $3 and 22 cents. And I had a little bit of change left in that envelope as well. Um, so that would have made the $50 for week four. And so I think there might be one more week an extra week in October, if so, then I will just go ahead and take that out of child support money. Whatever it is, we still have to eat and you know, it doesn't matter about moving money from there if I need to use it for groceries. So anywho, wanted to um, throw that in. All right, you guys, so there it is. This was a combo video this week, sharing with you the budget update plus syncing the, I meant uh, uh, stuff in the cash envelopes. Normally I do that in a separate video, but I'm pushed for time this month and all the things that I want to uh, film for you guys is just taking a lot of time and um, I'm having to condense some things. Works out just fine. You figured out what I was doing with the child support, the change in the side hustle and also stuff in the uh, envelopes. So there it is. Again, I will say this um, as kindly as I can. Budgets are subjective to your family. Nobody can tell you how to allocate your funds. There is a way that might seem like it works for you, but you're not seeing any dividends or returns. Then maybe you should look at changing some things. Um, for me, I keep my budget sheet. I keep it printed out. I have all my cash categories over here that I wrote down. Um, and then all the things that I'm doing, how much cash I need to get out. Um, and then any notes that I need to, I print them out so that I'm able to see what I'm, you know, what did I do or why did I do that? Um, it just works out for me. My notebook that I keep my, um, sinking funds in, I will show you that or update you that further when I do sinking funds. I haven't done any sinking funds yet because normally, that money doesn't roll in until about the 21st, 22nd of the month. So we have at least another three weeks before I would even see anything from that. And um, I'm hopeful the analytics look good. It looks like um, the ads are running like they should. I do know some people say they didn't see an ad on this video or that video. But when I'm looking on the back end, I can see that the ads are rolling. It. I don't know if it's the person or the device or what. But from my side of things, now that I have been able to figure it out, um, it looks good. And I'm just going to not worry about it any further. Yet, could I be make? I want to make as much as the kids and I are able to. But as far as stressing over it, I am no longer doing that, which I did last month because I couldn't figure out the problem. It's figured out now. And like I said, I do check on my side of things. So prayerfully, all is well, you know. But anyway, got to get ready to go and do a few things with the kids. We do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel. If you like this video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, shared this video if you feel like it's shareable. We are so thankful to have you as a part of our YouTube community. We love you guys. Thank you so much for being on this journey with us. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.